Relief for some Modesto neighbors after makeshift apartments were found carved into the riverbank by the homeless. And we asked what was being done to stop it from happening tonight. And again, we're getting answers and results. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 5. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Curtis Ming. CBS 13's Tori Apodaca is live in Modesto with a look at the changes less than 24 hours after our reporting. Tori. Yeah, 24 hours ago, we were able to still access those caves. We were actually standing down there on those makeshift steps. Now you can see caution tape barricades that are representing progress on an issue that we first shined the light on yesterday. Movement in Modesto. Barricades and caution tape to keep people out of hidden homeless caves along the Tuolumne River. People were actually taking this serious as a safety hazard, which is what I've always identified this as. On Tuesday, Tracy Rojas, as you can see, it's quite well hidden, took us inside one of the eight caves that were cleared out over the weekend. Someone has spent a lot of time building this and putting this together. Shelves and everything. Shelves. You got to be kidding me. Some neighbors having no idea about the rent free living happening 20 feet below them until we showed them. I'm just calling to see if anyone is available to talk with us. We continued to take the community's concerns to the city and police, getting no direct answers on a plan moving forward. But progress speaks for itself with boots on the ground Wednesday. When was the last time you monitored that area? Because yeah. there's a home under there. Neighbors finally feeling heard, but now calling on more change along Crater Avenue. Better street lighting, permanent fencing, park signage, and consistent patrols. And if they're going to say they're going to patrol, then I want to visibly see patrol. I want to see them active. A temporary solution along the Tuolumne River. But will it make an impact for an issue rooted in people trying to seek refuge? A fence ain't going to stop this, no. No, not at all. What do you think will? Uh, give them a place to live. Yeah, and many of those city crews that we spoke with today said that they had no idea such elaborate infrastructure existed along this river. One of them actually told us that they even saw a homeless man in one of the caves when they went down there to put up those blockades today. The city says that they hope that this will be a deterrent. Of course, it is just temporary for now. There were also some homeless outreach crews that were out here that weren't able to speak with us on camera, but they do say that resources Resources are available for these folks that are in this situation, but it really comes down to them actually accepting it. Right now, though, there is no timeline for how long these temporary barricades will be up. And of course, we will continue to ask the city and police department for more change in this area, as a lot of people still want to see more movement and progress here. Yeah, I can definitely imagine that they do because those caves have gotten even more sophisticated yeah. since the first time we exposed them more than a year ago. Mm -hmm. So glad to see some progress out there. Tori, thank you.